talking about the punch volley today. Uh, so keep in mind that on the punch volley, um, your lower extremities, uh, think about keeping them nice and quiet. Think about keeping your upper extremities nice and quiet. If you had a beverage in your non-dominant hand, or if you had a bowl on top of your head, think about keeping that stable. So everything's nice and stable. Uh, less going on, less that can go wrong. Um, but uh, taking a look at the mechanics with your arm. So focus on uh, understanding what your grip is. If you're in full Western, uh, zones one all the way to zone four are all gonna be taken with a forehand. If you're in full semi-Western, I call this a pancake grip, but from nine o'clock all the way to three o'clock, this can all be taken with a forehand. Continental is your hand straight grip. Eastern is when you slide it over one little notch to your dominant side. Uh, if you were in those grips from zone one all the way to zone three, Okay, zone one, two, three, and four. From zone three all the way to zone one, uh, this is all gonna be taken with a backhand. Uh, you will notice that you can cover a lot more space uh, if the grip is in continental or if it's in eastern. Um, you can cover a lot more space with your backhand if you're in that grip. Um, something I want you guys to focus on is um, that the paddle's connected to your shoulder. It doesn't disconnect here. Anytime that I hit a punch volley, I would say that I'm squeezing pretty hard. I am meeting the second imaginary ball. I'm not meeting the first imaginary ball. Second imaginary ball is out here, and I'm making sure that uh, you know if, if point A and point B were right here, point A is there, point B is here, I'm staying in point A and point B. I'm making sure not to cock. I'm making sure not to add in any of these variables. Main focus is just laying it over, making sure that the paddle face uh, is uh, facing at my target or that my knuckles are leading um, and that I'm, I'm making clean contact and I'm staying uh, in this little small window and I'm keeping spacing from my body. Uh, but keep in mind that anytime you hit a backhand volley, lead with the knuckles. Anytime you hit a forehand volley, lead with the palm. Um, so we talked about the backhand volley, talked about leading with the knuckles. Uh, we have not talked about anytime that you roll over um, or, or, you know, let's say you're, let's say like your ready position is, you know, anywhere from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. It's right in there. Why? Because obviously you can cover a lot more space there. Um, but as it's in here, as I roll over for a backhand, uh, my paddle face is kind of naturally open. So I've got to focus on when I'm in this grip, as I make contact with my volley, I've got to roll my knuckles a little bit. That way I can be stronger and I can get the ball going down. You will, you will notice, or if you haven't noticed already, um, but when backhand volleys get popped up, generally it's because the knuckles don't get situated down. Okay, so you've got to focus on getting the knuckles situated down. Forehand side. Uh, paddle face doesn't lie, uh, palm in the hand doesn't lie, and the hand positioning doesn't lie, okay? So um, I'm gonna really focus on keeping this nice and tight. Uh, there's some wrinkles in the back of my wrist. You should have some wrinkles there. As you're uh, lining up for that forehand volley, think about keeping your arm like a V. V, v stands for volley here. Uh, my elbow's nice and lodged in. There was a ball in my armpit. I could keep that ball in there. Um, but main focus is, is keeping it inside of my peripheral vision, not letting it get outside of peripheral or not letting that ball fall out. Um, you can also consider this idea. If this was your book, it's like you're opening up one little page of the book as you volley. I would say the main tendencies on the punt volleys are overdoing it, uh, over swinging, uh, using too much wrist as you make in contact, swatting flies, uh, making contact too close to your body or making contact when you're too extended. Um, so let's, let's really focus on um, if you want to have some of the best hands in the world or if you want to fine tune your hands, uh, think about keeping your lower and upper extremities nice and, uh, nice and organized or nice and still. And then think about uh, keeping that spacing from your body on both your forehand and your backhand. And you should try to consider that if you're in continental or you're in eastern, taking a good majority of your volleys with your back end. Okay guys, punch volley drill here. Uh, Coach Jim is gonna be in front of me. Uh, the drill is gonna consist of, we're gonna spend about two minutes going forehand to forehand, volleying out of the air, being very cooperative, trying to make each other better, trying to keep the volley in zone four, uh, keeping the hand positioning upright, um, volleying back and forth for about two minutes, and then we'll spend two minutes uh, volleying in zone one with back end to back end. Okay, so focusing on good technique here, focusing on being cooperative, and main focus is directional volley. So Jim, right, right in front of me here. Okay, uh, doesn't matter who feeds, nice and easy, volleying back and forth.
Good. Okay. Um, so as we're doing this, Coach, Coach Jim here, Coach Jim was kind of having a hard time. Why? It's because uh, his paddle is pretty parallel to the net here. So I was telling Jim he should cock that up, open up the face a little bit, get more of that V shape going on, and that will help him out in this drill. So now, now we're kind of treating him like we're giving somebody a high five. Oh, there we go, baby. That's it. That's it. Good. Good. That's called teaching an old dog new tricks. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> nice. Good. Good. Hands back to ready. Yeah. Yeah. Hands back to ready here. Hands back to ready. Um, so even though we, we obviously do understand it's coming right back to this area, specifically for this drill, uh, let's not just cheat and camp and say, partner, put it over here. Okay. So make sure that we're always coming back to ready and that we are uh, getting back to recovery here. Okay. Go a few more. Volley. Back to ready. Okay, out of the air. Yeah. Hit that thing, Jim. There we go, baby. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, good, good. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, dude, show me, show me your grip. Come here, come here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, just think like if it's in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Cock it up. I mean, look. This goes down. This goes where? This goes through you. This goes directly down. Yeah. So I think if it's up there, just cock up that wrist. Okay, now we're going uh, back in a backhand, back in a backhand, leading with the knuckles, being cooperative. Um, keep in mind that when you go forehand to forehand, with really, you know, if you're in continental, if you're in the correct grip, uh, really only zone four is available for your forehand. So you will notice that if your partner is not being very cooperative with the forehand drill, and if they're uh, volleying in zone two or zone three, you're gonna have to get your feet out of the way so you can take all those with forehands. What you'll notice on the backhand drill here is that obviously zone three and zone one can all be covered with the backhand, so there's not gonna be as much movement in this exercise, okay? Jim, ready here? Jim's in front of me. Backhand to backhand. Backhand to backhand. Nice. Leading with the knuckles. Okay. Nice. Nice, good. Good. Oh, good. Again, 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 here we go. Keeping the hand positioning very still. Ball coming. Oh. Good. Nice, good. Pretty, good Jim. Okay guys, drill here is gonna be, Coach Jim is gonna be back at the baseline. He's gonna be hitting ground strokes. Um, I'm at the kitchen line. I'm acting as a student. Um, I'm gonna be hitting punch volleys. My job is to keep my volley deep. Jim's job is to keep the rally going continuous and hit ground strokes. We could do this uh, both ways down the line and both ways cross court. Uh, we're gonna spend about five minutes here and then change roles, okay? Uh, we, we don't have our cones today. If we had our cones, we would be setting those cones up uh, to represent the half court area, uh, but we only have a paddle. So we have a paddle there to represent the half court area. Okay, Jim, ready here, nice and easy. So I'm working on good technique. I, I'm also working on letting out balls go. Okay. Trying to get my volley deep, keeping that technique uh, inside a peripheral. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My fault here. Jim's working on giving himself plenty of time to make contact. Nice, nice, good, 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 good. Here we go. Nice. Last one here, Jim. Sorry. Keeping that spacing. See how a good portion of these volleys all took place with my backhand? Comes to show that from zone one all the way to zone three, if you're in the appropriate grip, uh, you, you, you really don't have to move and you can cover a good portion of this space with your backhand.
Okay guys, uh, punch volley drill here. Uh, this is one of my favorite drills. Coach Jim is in front of me here. Coach Jim is acting as a teacher. Great drill for J Coach Jim. He can be working on a stationary off the bounce speed up, whether that's his forehand or backhand. Um, he could go calculated, calculated meaning well placed, well placed uh, off pace, or he could go non-calculated speed up, which would be uh, any location at a higher pace. Okay, um, great drill for him to work on his disguise, and great drill for me, obviously, to, to work on my countering ability and to work on keeping things out in front, but my job is to read the speed up punch, his job is to speed up. Okay. Um, also, too, if I, if I recognize that a speed up is not calculated and it's high and it's coming pretty hard, uh, great drill for me to work on my tracking ability. Okay. Okay. Ready here, Jim? So Jim's in front of him. We'll spend, spend like, I don't know, five minutes, five minutes here, and then, then, then we can change rolls. Okay. Rock and roll. Nice. Okay. And I would love to see that speed up. Yep. Go ahead and get all the way up there, baby. Okay, don't be afraid to hurt me. That, that. Nice. Ah, oh, nice, that's a good spot there. But you notice on that punch volley, I'm not cocking. I would say one of the main tendencies that I used to do was anytime somebody sped up, I would cock and I would try to get all my power from doing this. What I've, uh, what I've realized is that I can get a lot more power from here if I uh, keep the spacing from my body and if I stay in between point A and point B or, or if I just stay at meeting that second imaginary ball and, and keeping that spacing from my body. Plain and simple, I don't need all this added cock to get power. There's plenty out here. Ready here? I was, I was extremely early. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I think it's better. Ah! Uh. Yeah, it's it's funny. It's it's so it's so difficult not to. But I mean, God, there's so much power just from there. You know what I mean? Again. Uh. Okay, last couple here. Yeah, it's good ball. Nice, nice. Here, feed one of my forehand. Okay. Last one here. Uh, uh. Okay, guys, game here is going to be uh, Coach Jim is going to be feeding a stationary speed up. Um, he can feed it uh, both forehand and backhand. He can feed calculated, non calculated, uh, add a little variety into a speed up. Um, my job is to punch or I'll be letting a ball go. Okay, we're going to play the game out. Game to seven, rally scoring. Uh, if I were to let one go, I would get that bonus point. Okay, play it out. Rock and roll, buddy. Okay, zero one. Very good. Zero two. That's good hands, Jimmy. Okay, one two. Okay, two two. Yeah, that's a good ball, that's a good ball. Great example there. I, I let the ball get into me. I let it get into me. Can't get as much power here and I can't place it as well. Plain and simple, when I cock it back, uh, it, it, I, I just I can't control it as well. I can't get enough on it. So I'm going to really focus on uh, keeping it out in front and doing less. Okay, ready here? Okay. So score is, uh, let's go three to two. Okay, God, that feels good. I'll tell you what, I mean, geez Louise. God, that feels even better. Okay, and I would strongly encourage the teacher not to feed in zone two and zone three. Most punch followers tend to eat that ball up if it's in zone two or zone three. So uh, just to make it tougher on the counter side, uh, speeder uppers or teachers, focus on speeding up in zone one or zone four.